Internet-based medicine may offer new and effective ways of managing heart failure patients. Several companies are developing Internet-assisted methods for monitoring vital information from heart failure patients. One such system, now in clinical development, enables patients to transmit important data including blood pressure, cardiac output, and vascular compliance and resistance to a secured website where their physicians can easily access the information. Both in our practice and I suspect in most practices, some of the subtleties of patients beginning to deteriorate are often not picked up on. And we would like to have an early indicator for that. Home-based monitoring programs have tremendous potential for reducing hospitalizations and costs for elderly heart failure patients. Ultimately, what we would like to see would be to get these measurements made on a regular basis and transmitted to, it, to us here at UCSD. And we could look at them on a regular basis and then initiate changes in therapy based on this. I think that would streamline the whole process and would lead likely to a reduction in hospital admissions and emergency room visits. We know that 90% or more of uh, resources devoted to the treatment of patients with heart failure goes for services rendered in the hospital. Uh, hospitals are very expensive places. And so for us to make a, an impact on the cost of heart failure in our society, the best potential target is keeping the patient out of the hospital, treating them while they're at home so they don't ever reach the point where they need to be admitted to a hospital. The National Heart, Lung, and Blood Institute estimates $17.8 billion was spent in 1993 for heart failure patients in hospitals, physician offices, home care, and nursing homes and medication. Given the aging population, these costs are destined to rise. While improved management of heart failure may save money by keeping people out of the emergency room, the true value is the preservation of life. It's eminently logical and reasonable, a direct extension of the fact of saying, you know, if we're successful at maintaining a high degree of compensation at home, that the patient's going to live longer and happier. Uh, we're in the process of gathering those data now. It's not at all a death sentence, although it is a serious condition. There is a high associated morbidity and mortality but I think it's important to emphasize the fact that we've gotten so much better in both the recognition and treatment of this condition that there is a lot of success with heart failure. The preceding program has been brought to you by Pulse Metric, the leader in pulse dynamics. And now, a look at the technology that may revolutionize the clinical management of heart failure. Pulse Metric is dedicated to the development and application of innovative technologies for the prevention, detection, and management of hypertension, heart failure, and related cardiovascular disease. Pulse Metric was founded in 1990 by physicist Dr. Xu Xin Cho with the objective of applying advanced scientific principles to develop easy to use, highly accurate blood pressure and pulse waveform monitors. That objective has been achieved in Dynapulse blood pressure and cardiovascular monitors. They employ advanced principles of biophysics, specifically the Bernoulli theorem of fluid velocity and pressure to capture and display, non-invasively, an accurate record of the forces generated by the heart and the dynamics of blood flow. Unlike other home monitors, Dynapulse systems simultaneously measure and record blood pressure readings and the arterial pressure waveform. Once transmitted over the internet to the company's Dynapulse Analysis Center, the pressure waveforms are analyzed to yield 12 cardiovascular values. These include cardiac output, left ventricle contractility, arterial compliance, and systemic resistance. Detailed reports are made available for physicians and researchers through a simple website connection. 
Pulse Metrics' vision is to extend the power of the hospital's cardiac care unit to the patient's living room. Patients will be able to use a simple upper arm cuff to measure and trend the strength of each cardiac contraction, the volume of blood ejected, and the degree of blood vessel resistance and elasticity, offering a powerful option for monitoring and treating patients in their homes. Today, more than 30,000 Dynapulse monitors are in use as computerized blood pressure monitors in homes, clinics, and community pharmacies. All may be upgraded to connect to the Dynapulse Analysis Center and the full power of hemodynamic monitoring. It does everything for you. If you follow the bouncing ball on the screen, as I say, <laughs> it tells you what to do, and that's all there is to it. Dynapulse monitors are a unique personal health resource linking patients at home to their physician through a secure, low-cost, web-based network. Obtaining cardiac data is especially important in treating heart failure patients. Beta blockers are becoming an important tool in the treatment of heart failure. Research shows they reduce mortality, decrease hospitalization, improve symptoms, and the quality of life. However, for years, doctors have been concerned about using beta blockers for heart failure because the initial dose may make the condition worse. Consequently, the drug is underutilized. Any tool that we can use on the outpatient basis that's reliable and accurate, that gives us information about a patient's blood pressure and how they're maintaining their fluid and any indices of cardiac function is going to be beneficial and I think would make most physicians feel more comfortable in using medications on, as an outpatient. Until recently, comprehensive functional assessments like these were only available using expensive equipment usually found in hospital cardiac care units or through risky invasive procedures such as cardiac catheterization. Pulsemetric has been granted seven patents that support its proprietary technology. Several key clinical studies have validated Donapulse's accuracy against invasive gold standard measurement methods. More than 20 papers on aspects of hypertension and cardiovascular risk measurements have been produced for major medical journals in association with the Pulse Dynamic Analysis Center and its affiliated scientists. Pulse Metric continues to forge partnerships with leading researchers from around the globe who share the commitment to fight back against cardiovascular disease and empower patients to take their place in the battle. It helps me take responsibility for my own health.